Welcome to my channel. Working with a big ball can be a lot of fun. So today I'm going to really try and infuse a sense of playfulness into the class. We can have a seriously good workout without taking ourselves too seriously. So let's start off sitting up on the ball, just taking some nice easy bounces, taking a deep breath in and out. And gradually making the bounces a little bit bigger. And keep the toes on the floor. We're just going to lift the heels up and bounce them down. So you're bouncing the heels. And then if you feel comfortable, you can jump the whole foot off the floor. So choose what sort of level of bounce feels good for you. We're going to take a breath in. The arms float up. And exhale. Arms float down. Let's take it on five. In, two, three, four, five, and out. Breathe out all the air. Fully inflate your lungs. And out. Again, in, two, three, four, five. This time we're going to bounce the arms on the ball. So up, two, three, four, five, and down. Bounce, 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 bounce. Up, you can even bounce your arms up. And down. Two, three, four, one more time. Arms up. Breathe in and out. Two, three, five. And allow that bouncing to gradually subside. Open the legs to a wide, comfortable position. And we're going to start circling the hips. So listen to the sound that the ball makes. The very special music we do circles on the ball. Let's circle in the other direction. Make this as big or as small as feels nice for you. Let's come to sitting. Clasp the hands behind the head. Lengthen the neck up. Inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to take a side bend. So the elbow goes down towards the floor, other elbow up towards the ceiling, and reach the hips over to the other side. Let's come up, lengthening up, and going all the way to the other side, opening the side of the body. This time we're going to start the same way. This time we're going to circle the head down, and to the other side. And we're going to keep circling with the upper body and allow the hips to also circle. Just play with whatever range feels good for your body. Let's go in the other direction, circling the head and circling the hips. And listening to the sound of the ball. Let's come back to center. Work a little bit on balance. So transfer the weight onto one foot. Lift the other foot up. Keep lengthening the top of the head up. Feel the small movements. And back, other side. Lift the other leg up. Find the balance. And down. We're going to do three bounces with both feet on the bar on the floor, down, 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 and then three bounces with one foot off. Down, 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 and bounce, two, three. Bounce two feet on the floor, one foot on the floor. Down, 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 lift the other foot. One, two, three, and up. Two, three, and down. Three, and up, let's do it on two. Down, two, up, two, down, two. And just play with the arms any way that feels but it's supporting the movement. We're going to do it on one. Down, up, down, up. And really play with it. You can walk your feet in any direction. Forwards, back to the side. You can move your arms. Down, up. If you want, you can even take it a bit faster. And then gradually bring that to a close. Take one hand over the head and 
stretch the neck so you get that good stretch on the side of the neck. Stay there for a moment. And we're going to release this hand down towards the floor. Take the hips in the opposite direction and sweep the top arm up so you're getting this really good side bend. Stay there for a moment. Just the top arm comes back down. And then everything lifts back up. Let's do it to the other side. So we're stretching the neck, breathing deeply, and then allow that hand to drop down towards the floor. The hips go in the other direction and sweep the hand over so you get that nice stretch through the side of the body. Just the arm coming up. Go straight into that side bend. The fingertips reach towards the floor. Depending on the size of the ball, they might actually reach or they might not. And then we're just going to take the arm down and then lift the head up. Let's do it one more time to the other side. Up and over the fingertips reach towards the floor. And then the top hand reaches down. and coming all the way up. So again, clasp the hands behind the head. I'll turn around so you can see better. Lengthen the neck. We're going to start curling the hips forward. So we're going to bring the lower and upper back to rest on the ball. The head and shoulders are slightly off. Inhaling, opening. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up, draw the stomach in. Again, inhale, open. Exhale, pull the air out. One more time, inhale. Let's stay there, relax the arms back and just rock gently forwards and backwards. Lifting the head and shoulders up. Inhale as you exhale, draw the stomach in. Walk back and release over. Place the hands on the floor. Just going to stretch the legs and flex the feet. Bend the knees. Again, flex the feet. As you straighten the legs, drop the head down so you're getting a really good stretch for the back body. Bend the knees. And one more time, stretch, 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 stretch. Let's come up one vertebra after another, after another. I'm just going to turn over to the other side and we'll do it again. Lengthening up, rolling the hips forwards. This time we're going to take the hips further forward, so just the mid and upper back are on the ball and drop the hips down so that they come as close to the ball as feels good for your back and then push the feet into the floor, lift the hips up as high as possible. Hips drop down towards the floor and lift up. One more time, drop the hips down, lift them up now we're going to do a sort of seesaw movement. So the hips drop down, lift the head and shoulders up, stretch the legs a little bit, and then bend the knees. Head goes back, hip, hips lift up. Lifting the head, stretching the legs, bending the knees, letting the head go back. Let's do that one more time. Rocking up. back. I'm going to stay placing the head on the ball, reach the arms back and again try and stretch back so the arms might reach the floor or they might not. It depends on the size of the ball and on how bendy your back is feeling. Again, lift the head and shoulders up. Inhale. To exhale, we're going to walk back. And again, just relax over, hands on the floor and play a little bit from side to side. You can also take this into circles. 
Again, find what feels nice for your body here. Slowly rolling up. Again, clasp the hands behind the head. And again, walking forwards. This time we're going to place the head on the ball. Lift the hips up as high as possible. Reach the fingertips towards the ceiling. Inhale, open the arms to the side. Exhale, reach the fingertips back up. Inhale. So as I'm opening the arms, I'm really working the back of the legs to keep the hips up. Exhale. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, open. Exhale. I'm going to take the arms all the way back. Bend the knees and try and bring the hips towards the floor. And up and over. So bending the knees as much as possible. You might reach all the way to the floor. And all the way back. Let's do it one more time just like that. Bend. Stretch. Last time bringing the head and shoulders up. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the stomach in. Walk back. And again, stretch over. Flex your feet. Bring your head as close to the ball as possible. Slowly rolling up. And let's go back to the bouncers. Press the feet into the floor. Reach the top of the head up. Take a few more bounces. And from here, we're going to come up to a standing position. Ready? We're going to go one, two, three, and up. Let's turn towards the ball and place both hands on the ball. Let's walk the hands forward on the ball so that the back is in a long line. Really lengthening all the way from the top of the head to the sits bones. And then bend the knees, sending the arms even further away so you're getting that really good stretch in the spine. And lengthening, stretch the legs. Let's do that twice more. Bending the knees generously. Exhaling, reaching the arms away from the sit bones. Just one more time. Bend, lengthen the spine and stretch. We're going to start rolling back. Curl the tailbone down, lift the stomach, and we're going to bring the ball back so that the hands are placed on the ball. We're gently pressing down into the ball. Lift the stomach up and keep lifting so much that you can maybe even lift the heels up. Place the heels down, bend the knees, open the chest, gaze forward. So I'm aiming the knees towards the ball. And again, pressing down with the hands, lifting up with the stomach, lifting the heels up, finding the balance. Heels down. Bending the knees, opening the chest. Let's do it one more time. Rounding stomach in. Lift the heels up. Stay there for a moment and see if you can lift the stomach even more. And one more time. Bend the knees and open the chest. So it's like a deep squat with the chest open. Let's come up. Take the balls in between the hands. Nice wide position of the legs. Reach the ball up. And then I'm going to bend the elbows so the head and the ball touch each other. And we're going to think of pressing the head up towards the ball. Bend the knees as much as possible. And then when you straighten, think of pressing the ball up. And then reach the arms up, lengthen. Bend the elbows, bend the knees, push the ball up with the head, and reach the arms up. Let's take that twice more, bending, so I'm gently pressing with the hands all the time. Deep bend, stretch the legs, lift up, last one, bend. Elbows, bend the knees. Think of the head 
pressing the ball up, and then the arms reach up, bring the ball down, place it on the floor. Again, walking forwards, bending both knees, and stretch. Let's do that just one more time like that. Bend both the knees. This time as we stretch, we're going to walk the ball over to the right. Bend the right knee, send the ball forward on a diagonal, and then try and keep the ball in place as you bend the left knee. So we're transferring the weight, bending the right knee, and bending the left, really lengthening that side of the body. Twice more, forward and back. One more time, bending forwards and back, and let's take it over to the other side. So reach the ball to the left, bend the left leg, stretch the right, and then change, bend the right knee, stretch the left, transferring the weight forwards, reaching forwards even more, and then keep reaching forward as you bend the back knee. Twice more, forwards, stretch over, and back. Last time, forwards, and back. Let's bring the ball to center, rolling up. Again, pick the ball up, take it up overhead. This time we're going to side bend to the right, bend the right knee, keep reaching the ball away, then I'm going to stretch the right leg and side bend over to the left. Again, bending the right knee. This time I'm going to transfer the weight onto the left and pick the right toes up a little bit. And, and so the ball creates a big arc. And each time, see if you can lift the leg a little bit more. And that's uh, so really playing with finding the balance. And, and lifting up, stretch the ball away, lift the leg as high as you want. Twice more. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And that last one, stay there, find the balance. Reach the ball away from the toes and the toes away from the ball. Just for a moment, let's relax down. And let's take that to the other side. So sign bending to the left, bend the left knee. And then take the ball up and over to the right. Again, bend the left. And this time I'm going to transfer the weight. And down. Lengthening up and out. And uh, up, try and find the balance. And if you fall, just try again. Over, stretch, find balance. Let's do it twice more. Up and down. Last one, stay there. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Lift the leg as high as you want. And bring the ball back down. Have the hands on the ball. Let's go this way. I'm going to have the weight on my left foot and a little bit of weight on the right. And then going to transfer more weight onto the left leg so I can pick my right leg off as long as possible. I'm keeping a soft bend in the front leg. You can choose to straighten it if you prefer. And then transfer the weight back. So just rocking the weight forward, taking the weight onto the front leg, lengthening the back leg up, and let's do that twice more. Lengthen, reach the leg up, open the chest, long, long, long leg, and down. Next time we're going to try and challenge ourselves a bit more, so we're going to stay there, lengthen the leg. If possible, we're just going to take the ball from left to right, playing with it from side, and if you fall, just go back up. A few more times. And <laughs> let's do it to the other side. This leg should be better. So transfer the weight forwards. Lift the leg up. And down. Again, forwards. Lift the leg. Open the chest. And down. Twice more. Lift the leg up. Can keep a soft bend in the front knee or straighten it. One more time and we're going to stay there. 
find the balance. And if you can, challenge yourself by taking the ball from side to side. So there's a lot of work on the standing leg. <laughs> and let's come to lying on the ball. So the feet and the hands are on the floor. We're just going to play with rocking forwards, transferring more weight onto the hands. And back, transferring the weight back to the feet. Start off nice and gentle. Let's take it a little bit bigger. As if we're jumping forwards and landing softly. And back like a big cat, like a panther, pouncing. And back. And you can make it as big as you feel comfortable. And let's start playing with it. So rather than just going straight forwards, maybe we can go off to the side, to the other side. As if you're sort of surprising yourself. You're not exactly sure where you're going to land up. Make sure this is, um, the landing is soft. Don't to bang your hands on the floor. to play with this. And then coming back, we're going to circle. So the weight's going to go from the right hand to the right foot, to the left foot, to the left hand. So if you're massaging your stomach in a circular motion. Let's take the circle to the other side. Again, listening to that strange music that the ball makes. Bringing the legs together, walking forwards, find the balance. This time I'm going to lengthen both legs and lengthen them up before bending them. Heels come towards the hips and rocking forwards. I'm slightly thinking of arching the upper back as if the toes and the head want to reach a little bit towards each other. And forward. And rock. Let's do that twice more. Lengthen the legs and then bend. Open the chest. One more time. Relax over. If you want, you can circle the arms a little bit. Circle the hands, because we're going to put some more weight on them. So, we're going to come forwards, have the knees right in the center of the ball. Going to bend the knees, take the hips back towards the ball, and really try and relax the head down. So maybe even the forehead might touch the ball. You can bend the elbows if you want. Just get a good stretch for the back here and taking it out to a long line. Let's try that one more time, just like that. So once we find that position, we can really relax in this position. Come back to the breath. There's almost no effort in the, in the hands here. So next time, we're going to challenge ourselves a little bit more and the hips are going to go up towards the ceiling. So it's like I'm trying to do a handstand. Let that head really relax over. And back. Lift up the hips, lift the stomach, push the hands down. Relax the head over. And down. We'll okay. go back for a moment. See if that's challenging enough, we can stay with that. If you can, let's keep on challenging ourselves a little bit more. So, we're going to start off the same way. Lift the hips up. This time, the hands are going to stay where they are. I'm going to take both legs over, both knees over to one side, and then using the center coming back and to the other side. You might find that one side is easier than the other. And if you fall, no problem, just come back. To one side and back to the other side. That's what working with the ball teaches us. 
life is not always stable, no big deal. We just get back on the ball. Let's add one element of challenge. So again, coming forwards. Let's start off exactly the same way. Take the hips up. I'm going to take both legs over to the right. This time I'm going to reach the right leg out, looking at the toes. Bring it back and from here lift up. And to the other side. Stretch the left leg out. Bring it back. Push into the floor. Lift the center. Let's do it one more time either side. Reach the toes away from you. Bring the knees back and up. Let's just do one last time. Stretch the top leg. Bring it back. Bring yourself all the way up and back. Just give the ball a hug. Relax over. Let's come to lying on our backs. So have your legs propped up on the ball in a comfortable position. Take a moment to really feel the hips releasing down into the floor, the chest opening. Take a deep breath in and slowly out. Just little bounces. So I'm doing it by bouncing my heels up and down, but you can do it any way that feels good. We're going to try and let that bounce of the ball come all the way through the spine towards the head. So just allowing the spine to react to the movement of the legs. You might want to do it like that. You might want to do one leg at a time. Just find the way that feels best for your body. Come back to a still place, hands behind your head, and try and bring the ball even closer towards you so you're pressing your heels in. As you press your heels towards you, lift your head and shoulders up. And depending on the size of the ball, you might even be able to pick the ball up a little bit. And back down. And even if, if the ball's big, you probably won't be able to pick it up, but you'll still get that sensation of the heels pressing down. Feel how that activates the back of your legs. Bring the knees and the head closer towards each other. And back down. Let's do that twice more. Press, pull the stomach in. Lengthen, lifting up. And down. Just one more time. Squeeze the heels into the ball. Lift the head up. Try and get the head as close to the knees as you can. And down. This time we're going to stretch the legs out. And again, we're going to bounce the heels down. Lift the head and shoulders, and we're going to breathe in and out. And can find your way of doing it. You might want to do it with both heels. You might want to do it with one leg at a time. So keep stabilizing your stomach with your heels bounce on the ball. And relax down. Let's bring the ball back towards us, and again, slightly press the heels in towards the ball. Open the arms and we'll take side to side. So take the legs over to one side. Keep the chest wide open. And as you exhale, use the strength of the center to bring the legs in. And the heels will help make sure it doesn't escape. And if it escapes, no big deal. Just bring it back. Take it to the first side and back to center. One more time to the other side and back to center. So we're going to do the same thing but with the ball in between the legs and the legs up. You can keep a soft bend if your knees if you like. Taking the legs over to the first side 
squeezing the legs into the ball. So you should feel the center really working there. And then over to the other side. Squeeze, bring it back. Again, maybe even a little bit further towards the floor this time. And squeeze, bring it back. Let's take it one last time to the other side, just like that. And bring it back. Take the ball into your hands, draw the stomach in, take the toes down towards the floor as the arms and the ball go above the head. Take it back, place the ball back in between the legs, and we'll take the same movement, but now the ball is in between the legs and the arms go up. I'm just going to transfer the ball from the arms to the legs, back, and change. Stretching away and bringing it back. You might want to take it a little bit faster if that feels okay for you. One more time, take it into to the arms. Shake out your legs a little bit. This time we're gonna try and throw the ball and catch it between the legs and throw it and catch it. So start off quite small. Sometimes it takes a few times to get the hang of it. And once you have got the hang of it, try and play with it, maybe a bit higher. Again, worst thing is it happens that the ball escapes and you go and get it back. So really feel free to play with it. Whoops, there it goes. It comes back and catch and catch. Let's do it one more time. And take the ball into the arms. This time the arms are going to squeeze against the ball. I'm going to take the ball over to the right and my knees over to the left. And come back to center. Similar to what we were doing before. Legs over to the other side. Arms in the opposite direction. And bring it all back together. Squeeze the heads into the ball. Stretching over this. I'm going to stay there for a breath or two before coming back one more time to the other side. Coming back. Let's have the balls over the shins. Lift the head towards the knees and then roll up and down a few times. So we come all the way to a sitting position. So take the legs as wide as you feel you'd like to. And we're going to stretch forwards with the hands on the ball. As so we do that, think of taking the navel back. So here we're just going to play a little bit right and left, rocking from side to side. And again, that ball makes that strange sound that only the ball can make. Let's come back. I'm going to place my left hand on the ball, take it towards the right foot, stretch it as forward as far as possible, and come back, change to the other side. So the other hand can go on the floor, it can reach back if you'd like. We're going to take that a little bit faster. Just, again, finding the playfulness from side to side. One more time, either side. And let's come to a side sitting position, a mermaid position. We'll start cooling down with some stretches. Reach the arm up and over, lengthening through both sides of the body. And then let's place both hands on the ball, stretching it forward. And if you want even more of a stretch, walk the hands over so you get a deeper stretch on the side. Just going to stay there, keeping the navel gently pulling it in to protect the back. And then take the leg over. We're going to take the ball over to the other side. 
sitting up tall and twisting over towards the ball. Really lengthen the top of your head up and root the hips down towards the floor. Let's take those stretches to the other side. So sitting in this Z position, this mermaid position, up and over. Breathe into the stretch. Both hands on the ball. Stretch it over forwards. And if you want more of a stretch, a deeper stretch, walk the ball over so you're getting even more stretch on the side body. Coming back, take the ball over to the other side. Cross one leg over the other. Sit up tall and twist over. You can even hug the ball a little bit if that helps here. Keep lengthening up, spiraling around. And we're going to finish off just lying on our backs. Legs propped up on the ball. You can place your hands on your center. Taking a deep breath in. Slowly exhale, hold the air out. Again, inhale fully all the way and exhale fully. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Take as long as you want to stay there with your breath. I hope you had fun doing this class with me on the big ball. <laughs>